The Grim Death Burglars get a fight to the finish with the Handed Overs. Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Hehehehe, <laughs> we're awfully quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. Get yourselves ready to battle! Man, eventually I'm gonna get tired of that. Uh, too much for my voice to handle. Alright, but yeah, so, we got, uh... Uh, to win this fight within uh, a few a few turns, uh, which uh, should should be uh, uh, pretty uh, simple. Uh, so we got uh, two new enemies here. We got bandits and big bandits. I don't know what the heck the difference between a bandit and a big bandit is. They're both the same size according to what it looks like on the screen here. But yeah, so regular bandits have 5 HP, 2 attack power, and what they'll do is if they dash into you, then they'll steal your coins. However, if you block their move, then uh, you don't, they don't get to steal your coins. Um, now, if they do steal your coins, then uh, you gotta defeat them quickly, or else they're gonna run away. Um, now, in the, in the first game, uh, if you uh, hit them, then um, uh, while they have your coins, then you can actually get your coins back that way. Uh, in uh, in, in uh, this game, this time around, you actually have to defeat them. Make it, make it a little bit harder to get your coins back if you happen to lose your coins. Uh, so, uh, you don't want that to happen. And then Big Bandit, um, on the other hand, is the same thing as a regular Bandit, except this one has 8 HP with 3 attack power, so a little bit tougher. And, they can also steal your items. And, steal, and when they steal your items, that's worse than getting your coins stolen. Did you hear the latest G-Man? My, bo my boys said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. She likes juice. I like juice. We already have so much in common. Check her out for me, man. Okay. I I'll do that if I feel like it. Okay. So, my next one's going to be the Mind Boggler. I want you to use at least one special move. Oh, simple. Very simple. In fact, I have the special move to use. A special move that I want to use. Alright, let's go. The Grey Entanglers! Yep, a fight to the finish with the Mind Bogglers! Okay, we can do this. Prepare to be ensnared, mystified, and devoured. Get yourselves ready to battle! Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, you know? So after the next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool to quit and run, that's for sure. But you know what? That's life, Double G, man. Listen, you stay cool, okay? Promise me you won't forget you once knew King K. Alright, but I thought the rule was that you can't quit as long as you're under the conditions of Grubba. Right? Isn't isn't that isn't that what I, what I was told? 
I guess apparently you can now retire or something whenever you feel that it's right. But at the same time, I do understand your decision, you know, because, you know, if you're fighting for your life, then, yeah, who knows what your future is going to be like. All right, so what's next here? Punk rocks. Avoid using my hammer. Okay, simple enough. I want to see how you do when you ain't got something to beat a fellow with. Okay, I suppose. But also, am I even gonna beat these guys without using my hammer? Uh, probably not. Okay, that's what it looks like to me. All right, here we go. The Green Torture Squad! Yup, a fight to the finish with the Punk Rocks! Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. This no take long. The This end in pain for Mustache. Get yourself ready to battle! Okay, the battle against Hyper Bald Clefts. Um, Hyper Bald Clefts, we've seen... These are pretty much the stronger variations of regular Clefts. Um, oh shoot, I'm not allowed to use my hammer. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, that, that, that's okay. Um, uh, because I don't have anything. Alright, 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 you know what? Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, Hyper Bald Clefts are pretty much similar to Bald Clefts. We've seen Bald Clefts back in Chapter 1. Hyper Bald Clefts are pretty much a stronger variation. Except, uh, Hyper Bald Clefts actually have an extra move, and that's that they can actually charge, uh, 8 damage, um, and, uh, do a very, re uh, relentless move. If uh, you give them a turn to charge and give them a turn to actually use it, which you don't want that to happen, so uh, and you, you just want to take out the bald clubs as uh, hyper bald clubs as soon as you can because you don't want to deal with it. And as you can see, King K is gone. So I guess he really did retire. Alright, so my next opponent is going to be the Bob bomb Squad! Be sure to use a partner skill at least once. Okay. So we already know how that works. Fortunately, I do have someone who, who I can uh, use my partner for. <laughs> So I guess it looks like we're going to be fighting this guy, since it's the bomb squad, so... You know, we've already fought everybody within the, uh, within the locker room now. That's cool. <laughs> the Big Bomb Boomers! Yep, a fight to the finish with the bomb squad! Come on, Mario, let's get this over with. Here we go, Gonzalez Bomb. I have advice. Just give up now, Bob Bomb. All right, get yourself ready to battle. All right, Bob Bombs. Um, so Bob Bombs are interesting, and that is that when you hit them, then they will ignite, and then. Uh, when they get hit, or you give them a turn while they are Ignite, then they'll do a really powerful move called an EXPLOSION! IT HURTS! Uh, I believe the Explosion does 5 damage, which really hurts. They have 4 HP, 2 attack power, and 1 defense point, so uh, a bit of an upgrade from the first game. For sure. It's quite lonely without King K around, Bomb. No lonely, him too weak. Now him not here. Sound normal with Clef Door. 
You are in bomb denial. Clefdor, I saw you weeping in that locker. Bomb bomb. Oh, who's this? Here we are. This is your locker room. You're starting the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dean room, I suggest you work your way up the, to the ranks. Okay, you're just gonna say the same thing here. Yeah. You have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up the screen. Oh my gosh, you're literally just teaching teaching this guy again. Or at least, well, I'm already seeing this already. Sir Swoop, ready to get your wings dirty? There you go. I got a treat for you. Your first battle is gonna be against Goomba Bros. Okay, all right. There'll be a piece of cake. We want to get the crowd fire, so do a move where you do a triple flip and meow. Okay. So I guess uh, everybody gets different conditions based on uh, their uh, based on like what they can actually do. Uh, Mr. Grubbs, it's fight conditions. In this case, the conditions do a triple flip and then meow. Fairly easy. Hi, guys. Yeah, my name's Swoop. Sir Swoop, I mean. Nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you, too. Sir Swoop. <laughs> you. Yes, you. Sir Swoop. Time for your battle, bub. Follow me. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. Hopefully. I wonder if we're actually going to battle this person eventually. Maybe not, as long as I keep on moving up the ranks as quickly as I'm, I am right now. Probably. Alright, in the meantime... Okay, let's do go and do the usual, the rank match. Yuck, 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 yuck. You're gonna love this. Your next opponent is rank 10 the Glitz Pit, the Iron Adonis Twins. That's right, you're darn tootin'. You're finally gonna make a go at the Major League, son. We're expecting great things from you, so don't you go letting us down now. Now listen, this battle, be sure to use a partner skull at least once. Okay. That should be easy enough. <laughs> Alright, match time. <laughs> and now, today's main event, the Major League awaits the 11th ranked Greg Gonzalez! But only if you can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins! First, let the, let's get the merciless execution in here, folks. The Great Gonzalez! Gonzalez, kick their iron tails! Don't you dare lose, dude! Love that mustache! Who we? The Great Gonzalez. How you feeling? Okay, I guess. Just perfect, like a doof. Okay, you know what? Let's again. Let's be humble here. I'm feeling okay. Whoa, Nelly! You heard the fellow folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Oh man, there they are. Good gravy. Iron them out. Whoa, are spikes legal? I don't know, man. Are spikes legal? Jason can confirm our spikes legal? Your challenger is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Dawes twins, he said, okay, you're just putting words in my mouth. I didn't say any of these things. No, I did not say any of these things. You're, this is some, I will not take this false accusation. How does he know mom has an Audi, that jerk? We're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink up. Oh, and one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads call others people stinkwads. Understand, stinkwad? Simmer down there, bro. You, stinkwad, you're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically, what I'm telling you is whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left with the fun functional brain. Get yourself ready to battle! All right, we got a boss fight. 
We're gonna do it. We gotta make the major league if we win. Blah! Give up now. Well, stinkwads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. All right, use a partner at least one. Okay, let's go and uh, go and use Tattle to, so we can just get this over with. All right, so we got Iron Clef. Um, it has six HP, four attack power, and an infinite defense. What's going on here? If that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Okay, do we even have something like that? Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. Oh man, what happens if we even do run away? I don't know. But yeah, an infinite number of defense? Like, what is this? What is this? I can't even do anything. Not even my hammer can do anything. Oh, we can super guard, but that still does nothing. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Okay, in the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, tile the other one, because for some reason, this one's a separate tile entry. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's pretty much the same thing, uh, ideally. Uh, this is the younger brother. Yeah, so these are kind of like Clef Bros. I mean, they are Iron Dawn's tw tw twins, but yeah, if you're familiar with the, the first game where they had the, where we have the Goomba Bros, yeah, pretty much the same deal with Clefs. Okay, well, since I can't do anything about this, uh, let's just, and, and instead of stalling the battle, let's go ahead and just get this over with here. Uh, so this is what running away is like. You pretty much have to mash uh, until the bar is full, and then when the bar is full, you have a 100% chance of winning. And then we just lose. That's how, what happens when you, when you run away in the in the uh, in the glitz pit. We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of bubble pie, have a bath and come on back. And then you'll still get fight money. Which is one coin, if you lose. Um, but yeah. So that's what losing's like. It's kind of unfortunate. Uh, but uh, fortunately though, um, well, I guess unfortunate in, uh, in this sense, uh, that is a scripted loss. Where do you think it went? Yo! Oh my gosh. Gonzalez! Check me out. Thanks to you, I hatch safe and sound. Thanks, man. What? You were in that cute little eggy weggy? Whoa, that's wild. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll soul any opponent whole honest. Just leave it to me. My name? Let's see, I just came out of that egg, so I guess I don't have a name yet. I guess when you're born, you don't quite have a name. He seemed fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Oh boy. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I came up with a name. Uh, this name probably doesn't make sense for most of you guys, but the reason I'm giving Yoshi the name Huff is because I have been into a yearly event known as Class of Tempest World Championships, and one of my favorite players, who's currently active um, as of uh, as of this uh, time period uh, within the Tetris community, uh, his name is Huff, or better known as Huffleupagus. Um, I love the way he plays Tetris. Uh, so in honor of Huff, I'm going to name Yoshi after him. Huff, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not, not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Uh, in fact, actually... Um, in just this year's uh, CTWC, um, we got a uh, <laughs> Logan Paul actually got defeated by uh, a very young player known as Blue Scooty. Um, I would recommend checking that out because it's actually a really awesome match. But anyway, uh, to write, so now we have a new partner, uh, Yoshi, or whatever you decide to name your Yoshi. You can name it anything, and Yoshi is one of the best partners in the game, in my opinion, uh, because what Yoshi can do is you can actually ride on Yoshi, just like in a traditional Mario game, and then Yoshi can even uh, hover uh, across large gaps that are too large for a, just a regular jump. And when you're riding on Yoshi, you move much faster, and uh, because in this game there is no sp uh, there is no spin dashing uh, like in, in Paper Mario One, um, then Yoshi is like your main movement option for going fast in this game. 
So, uh, yeah. It's also worth noting that depending on how long you've been playing this game, uh, up uh, after receiving the egg from the hot dog stand, uh, then Yoshi can actually be a different color. In my practice file, uh, I actually got a blue Yoshi, and, and I named my blue Yoshi Tyson, which is the same name that uh, Megawi Master 1 named his Yoshi uh, after a contest that he held years ago. Uh, and I won that contest, uh, with, uh, the with the name Tyson, uh, for, I believe, Yellow Yoshi. So now that we got a new partner, uh, this would be a perfect opportunity for us to show off our new partner. And so because we of that loss, we did, uh, uh, remain the same, and because our rank is the same, we're actually gonna go be going up against the Iron Dots Twins again. And, uh, hopefully since we have a new partner, Maybe we'll stand a bit of a chance, but I don't know, there's only so much that we can do when you're up against someone who has an infinite number of defense. Like, how is that?